children were curled into their nice soft rugs in their teepees in the teepee village. And Hannah May woke up with a start. Something's wrong. She felt something was a little bit wrong in her heart. So she jumped up and ran into the middle of the village, the breakfast circle. And she looked at the fire. She had a look. She looked at it and she thought, that's not quite right. What's wrong with the fire? It's not really burning very well. She felt very worried in her heart. She didn't really know what was wrong. She said, I thought, I'd better go and get the other children. So she ran to all the teepees. Jakey, Anna May. Who else is there? Mariana, Piana, Piana Racky, quick, come up, come up. Bilbo. 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 Everyone, wake up. Something's a bit wrong. Our fire isn't really burning very strong. What should we do? So they all gathered around the fire and thought, well, we're meant to be the children and the guardians of the fire, if you remember right from the beginning. And the fire isn't burning very bright at the moment, and it's been like that quite a lot recently. What should we do? Thought we'd better go and find Olga. So we went to find Olga. Olga was sitting by her teepee playing a song. Olga, Olga, the fire's not burning very well. What should we do? She said, well, what you need to do is you need to go and find some new fuel for the fire. Fuel for the fire? What's fuel for the fire? They said. Well, fuels for the fire is what keeps the fire burning very bright. And I think what the fire needs is it needs love from everyone's hearts in the village. And it also needs all of the sparks of adventures and lots of inspiration, the fire needs those things as fuel to make it burn bright again. You better go and find it. Children thought, how are we going to do that? And Maya said, hey, well, whenever we go on adventures, we usually find out the right thing to do and find out the right things that we need. So maybe we should go on an adventure. Yes, let's. Just then the sun was coming up over, over the village. Let's go, let's go to the forest first. Yes, let's they went into the woods. Just then, Katie said, Hey, I think that's the butterfly that I saw a while ago up in the sky just over there behind the tree. Yeah, let's follow it. Good things always happen when you follow the butterfly. So they followed this butterfly that had shown them really exciting things before. On my birthday? On my birthday. And they followed the butterfly. The butterfly flew down to the stream. They heard laughing at the stream. Tee hee hee, ha ha ha. <laughs> What's that? They went down to the stream. And down at the stream, there were some people playing catch. And they were little people, they were little children. And they looked very happy and excited. And Jakey said, <laughs> Jakey said, because Jakey's one of the oldest. Children. No, he's the youngest. Oh, yeah, he's older. Yana's the youngest. Yana's the youngest. So Jakey said, anyway, he said, Children, little tiny children, can we please have some of your inspiration and excitement and fun to go into our fire to fuel our fire? And they said, Yes, of course. What would you, what would the fire like? And they said, Well, I don't know, what do you want to give it? And one of them said, Well, we've been playing with the bulrushes and we found this beautiful, soft, soft fur. And from the bulrushes and you can have a little bit of it so so you just hold on to that so so you can have a little bit of this to put in your fire and one of the younger children took it in their hands thank you very much children goodbye we'll see you later and they ran off ran off through the forest in the distance they almost thought they could still hear Olga playing with food <coughs> They carried on walking through the woods, and they carried on walking. And they, they, one of them said, I think it was Piana, said, is that the sound of a flute still? <whistles> and someone said, no, I don't think it is. I think it might be a bird. Is it a bird? Yes, it's a bird, I think. And... Oh dear, it's cute. Okay. Anyway, it might be a bird. They all looked up. 
up into the trees and they saw a bird. Hey, look at that bird. That bird. And it was flying across and they said, one of them said, I know that bird. <laughs> hey, who remembers that really big bird? Hey, I thought it was. Who remembers that really big bird? Wasn't that the bird? Wasn't that the bird that took us all to France once? <laughs> and they said, well, that was a really good adventure because it took us all the way to France, that bird, in that story. You've got a very big mouth. And just then a feather <laughs> flew down from the bird. Mouth. And one of the children picked it up. Ooh. Just hold on to that. He said, well, maybe that's going to be some good fuel for the fire as well. That was my suit. That was too wobbly. I was like, no, I was sitting there. Just sitting there. came out into the forest onto the edge of a field. Isn't this the farmer's field? One of them said. Yes, it is the farmer's field. Okay. I think that was, um, I think it was Racky said. This is, this is the farmer's field. I think this is the farmer's field. Let's go and see the farmer. So they ran through the field and there's a field of corn and they ran to the far farmer and said, farmer, do you have any fuel to help our fire burn brighter? Do you have any fuel to help our fire burn brighter? They said to him, well, he said, well, I don't know if I've got fuel to help the fire burn brighter, but I do need help. They said, well, we'll, we'll help you. We'd really like to help you. What do you need us to do? He said, we want, I'd like you to go into the field and harvest all of the corn. And they said, okay. He said, it's very special corn. It's rainbow corn. It's quite magical. So they went to harvest the corn. And it was very, very magical corn. It had all different coloured seeds. And they spent a good hour or two helping him harvest the corn. And he said, well, he said, thank you, children. You've been so helpful. And I will give you a really special coloured piece of corn as fuel for your fire. And one of the children popped it into her hand. And then they carried on a bit up out of the field and towards the orchard. And in one of the trees they heard a little giggling sound. What's that up in a tree? Hee 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 with no windows, no doors, a chimney and a star inside. Apple. And they realised it was an apple. Oh yeah. Just get a knife. Yes. I've got one. Thank you. And they said, do you remember that? So they got this apple and they thought, well, maybe the fire would like some, some fruit from the orchard. So they took a slice and they had a look and they held it up to the sun and they saw that it had a star inside. So they decided, yeah, they decided to use that as well as fuel for the fire to help it grow stronger. So, so far they had inspiration from the children. They had inspiration from the children. They had a feather from the bird of adventures. They had an apple. They had corn from being so helpful at the farmer's field. And they had an apple from the orchard that had a star inside it. So they had some very, very beautiful things. And they had this from the rushes, from the reed bed, from the river. And all those things as fuel. What are we going to put all these things in for the fire? Ah, they said, let's go and find the basket maker. Where does the basket maker live? Just down the stream. So they followed the stream down a little bit to the basket maker. And they said, do you have a basket? that we could put our fuel for the fire into. And she said, well, why do you want fuel for the fire? And he said, well, the fire's not burning as bright, and we're the guardians of the fire, and we want to help it burn brighter. 
and we realise that your baskets is the most beautiful thing we can think of for putting fuel into. So she said, well children, yes, but one day you're going to have to learn to weave your own baskets. So I'm going to give you this one. She gave them one and they said, what's it made from? It's made from rushes from the street. Well, what a good gift for the fire, yes. So they, they, they took that with them. They went back to the village and they thought, they went to the village and they thought, well, we've got some things, but what haven't we got? Olga asked us to put all sorts of things in. What haven't we got yet? Adventures. We've got the feather of adventure. But we and haven't gone on one. We've been on a soft. lot of adventures. Yeah, you just need that. Like the bike one. Well, they got back to the village and, and Piana said, I know what we have. We haven't put enough love in from the hearts of everyone in our village. How shall we do that? Why don't we ask everyone in the village to put something from their hearts into the fire for fuel as well? So they, they asked everyone to. So everyone in the village had something that could be fuel for the fire. What everyone was going to do was put them into the basket. But before they put them in, they would say what what bit of fuel they would like to put on the fire. So one by one, they all said what they would like to put in the fire. Or something that they loved. This and that. Something that they loved, and they said it out loud. <laughs> One thing that they loved, they put in the fire. <laughs> maybe they even blew that thing that they loved in as well. 